few players in professional basketball have generated as much hype and anticipation as Zion Williamson. With his extraordinary athleticism and unique skill set, the New Orleans Pelicans star appeared destined for greatness when he entered the NBA in 2019. His career, however, has been marred by recurring injuries, raising concerns about his ability to live up to the enormous expectations placed on him. Has Zion Williamson, the $193 million man, become the NBA's biggest bust? Zion Williamson has only appeared in 114 NBA games, prompting some to label him a bust. There was a lot of buzz surrounding one prospect, in particular, leading up to the 2019 draft, Zion Williamson. Some even compared the level of hype surrounding Williamson to that received by LeBron James in 2003. What Williamson faced that LeBron did not was the buzz generated by social media as a result of today's technological advances. ESPN ranked the Spartanburg, South Carolina, native as the number two prospect in the 2018 class, trailing only R.G. Barrett. Due to his outstanding freshman season, Williamson committed to Duke to team up with R.J. Barrett and quickly became the overwhelming favorite to go as the number one draft pick in the upcoming NBA Draft Lottery. He appeared in 33 games for Duke, averaging 22.6 points, 8.9 rebounds, and 1.8 blocks per game. He shot a healthy 68% from the field, too. In 2019, Williamson was selected first overall by the New Orleans Pelicans while his college teammate R.J. Barrett was drafted third overall by the New York Knicks. The Memphis Grizzlies selected Joe Morant at number two, and he has been the biggest success story on the court thus far. However, Williamson's career has been murdered by recurring injuries that have kept him out for extended periods of time. He was unable to complete the summer league, bruised left knee, and preseason, injured right knee, during his rookie season resulting in him only being available for 24 games in the 2019-20 season. On January 22, 2020, he made his NBA debut against the San Antonio Spurs, scoring 22 points and going scorching from the field by scoring 17 straight points in the fourth quarter. Zion Williamson's debut demonstrated his potential. In his first season, he averaged 22.5 points on 58.3% shooting. 6.3 rebounds, and 2.1 assists in 24 games. However, Zion's sophomore season was an improvement as he played 61 games and averaged 27.0 points per game on 61.1% shooting, 10.4 rebounds per game, and 3.7 assists per game. He flashed glimpses of being a dominant player in the paint, as Shaquille O'Neal was during his prime. Williamson posted an impressive average of 20.3 points of the paint. The New Orleans Pelicans had a chance to qualify for the play-in tournament, but they were unable to do so after their all-star forward fractured a finger on his left hand in early May. With a foot injury, Williamson missed the entire 2021-22 season. Williamson was listed at 310 pounds prior to his fourth season, but he was able to put in the work as he entered the season at 284 pounds. During the Pelicans' early season success, his size and strength combined with improved perimeter shot making. However, Zion was limited to 29 regular season games due to a persistent foot injury that kept him on the bench for several games. On January 2, he also suffered a right hamstring strain against the Philadelphia 76ers. Williamson has only played in 114 games for the Pelicans in four seasons, out of a possible 287, with no more than 61 games played in any given season. Injuries have limited his playing time thus far, and there have been some concerns about his overall health and weight. With only 29 games played this season, despite reports from around the league that he was healthy enough to return for the Pelicans' play and loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder, some have begun to question whether Zion will ever be able to help the Pelicans achieve their playoff dreams. What did Medina have to say about Zion Williamson's performance? Medina told Give Me Sport that Zion has not lived up to the hype that surrounded him after graduating from college. It is a results-oriented basis, so there is no doubt that he did not live up to the hype, he said. Because of his injuries, he has been unable to control many of these events. However, results are results. 
Moving forward, the Pelicans must accept that there will never be a season in which he is completely healthy. It is all about how they manage that and mitigate risk, as well as how they surround him with a really good roster so that the entire burden does not fall on Zion Williamson. When asked if the team could use some extra help in the future to alleviate this burden, Medina said, they have a really good coach with Willie Green. They have a lot of great talent surrounding Zion Williamson, whether it is a great young star in Brandon Ingram, a good veteran player in CJ McCollum, or a variety of good role players, so they have a well-balanced team. Zion Max's contract has been extended, the Pelicans decided to go all-in and sign Williamson to a five-year, $193 million rookie max extension. This seems excessive for a player who has appeared in only 39.7% of his team's games. However, the potential of his talent is undeniable once he works through the issues and injuries that are currently causing his health to be a concern. The high reward for a high risk. There is no doubt that the Pelicans are taking a risk by betting on Williamson despite the fact that he has yet to prove that he is capable of leading their franchise. With so much money invested in him, the Pelicans must ensure that Zion Williamson is healthy enough to compete regularly and start for the team in order to help them achieve their goal of becoming a championship contender. For the time being, they have the right pieces around him, but if Zion does not improve his availability in the coming seasons, the high investment may not pay off, and the Pelicans may have to look elsewhere for their superstar. Is it Zion Williamson's weight or his playing style that is the issue? It is a shame that fans have been deprived of seeing Zion Williamson's true potential in growth because of his offensive abilities and potential to improve on defense. He was listed at 300 pounds before entering the fourth season at 284 pounds. His weight is frequently cited as a major cause of his injuries. Williamson's body could be prone to setbacks in the long 82-game season due to his incredible size and weight, as well as his ability to run up and down the floor at lightning speed. In a TNT segment, NBA legend Charles Barkley discussed Zion's weight and conditioning, saying that Williamson should be able to control his diet because his weight is putting a lot of pressure on his knees, resulting in multiple surgeries. This is compounded by the fact that Zion Williamson plays with such force and power that his body deteriorates over the course of a long season. It remains to be seen whether a change in his playing style is the answer, as he has lost weight to 284 pounds but remains sidelined. Even with all of his injuries throughout his young career, many consider Zion Williamson to be a success, as he has demonstrated to the basketball world what a unique talent he is when he is healthy enough to play. There are not many players in the league like Zion Williamson. He attracts instant fan attention, which is a huge boost for the Pelicans' market. He brings incredible power to his game and combines it with a finesse that other players can only dream of. While injuries have undeniably hampered Zion Williamson's progress and limited his playing time, labeling him a bust is still premature. With improved health and a supportive team, his undeniable talent and potential could still propel him to new heights in the NBA. The Pelicans' high-risk investment in Williamson demonstrates their faith in his ability to overcome these challenges and become a franchise superstar. Only time will tell if Zion can live up to the hype that once surrounded him, or if his career will be defined by unrealized potential. Well, that's it. Subscribe to the channel to get updates regularly from us, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.